Mulvaney, Lesson 6, and this time some useful phrases and vocabulary pertaining to time. First of all, asking the time. You interrupt somebody or a conversation and you ask, or rather you say, Utolo, Utolo, sorry, excuse me. Ngubani i tresha. Ngubani i tresha. Alternatively, Litini i tresha ngugu. Litini i tresha ngugu. You could also ask Ngubani i tresha ngugu. Ngubani i tresha. Litini i tresha. He responds, I tresha ngu six. The time is six o'clock. Ngu six. Ngusi kulungile. Thank you. Fine. It was a pleasure. This opposed to asking when does something happen. For example, ingena nini iklasi. When does the class begin? Uh, you could substitute Kala as well for begin. Ngena literally means to lead in, to go in, Kala to begin. Nini, when. So when does the class start or begin? Ingena o ikala ngo nine. Ikala ngo nine. Uzaku koduka nini. And when are you Koduka going home. Dizaku Koduka ngo ten. This illustrates the difference between ngu six and ngo nine, or ngo six for that matter. Ngu six, that is what the time is. Ngo nine, that is stating that things happen at nine. So note the difference between the ngu and the ngo, followed by the time and the questioning word nini when. Then we look at the days of the week. For example, when do I want something handed in, or perhaps setting a date for a test, or the writing of exams. So you want an assignment handed in or submitted. Ndifuna, I want umsebenzi, the assignment, the work, ungeni swe. Ndifuna umsebenzi ungeni swe. And we will come to the time now. Nizagubala i test, or nizagubala uvavanyo, you will be writing a test. Nizagubala imviwo, you will be writing exams. So, um sedenzi is the assignment. I test or uvavanyo is the test. Im viewer are the exams. Golwesingapi, on which day will this happen? Ngomvulo, on Monday. Golwesibini, on Tuesday. Golwesitatu, on Wednesday. Golwesine, on Thursday. Golwesi Hlanu on Friday. Ngom Kribelo on Saturday. Nge Tawa on Sunday. Or perhaps you would like to state on one of these days of next week. Ngom Vulo Wale Vegi Zayo on Monday of next week or next Monday. So Ngom Vulo, the opening day. Golwesi bini, the second day. Golwesi tatu, the third day. Golwesi ne, the fourth day. Golwesi lanu, the fifth day. Gom kribelo, the finishing day. And getawa, the church day. So in a way you are learning to count when learning the days of the week. The months are pretty straightforward. So, during which month does it happen? 
ngo January, ngo February, ngo March, ngo April, ngo May, ngo June, ngo July, ngo August, ngo September, ngo October, ngo November, and ngo December. So, pretty straightforward, ngo preceding the month, and all that has happened is that the spelling has been adapted to the orthography of Isi Chosa. And then we have some useful general words pertaining to time. Ngoku, now. Namhlanje, today. Ngomso, tomorrow. Izolo, yesterday. Ngempela Veki, our favorite time during the weekend. Kui holide, during the holidays. Ngemini, per day, and sometimes Ngosuku will be seen and heard. Ngemini, roughly during the period of daylight, Ngosuku, per day, meaning a 24-hour day. And then Kusasa, in the morning. Emini, during the day or at midday. Emva kwemini, in the afternoon. Sometimes you will also hear Emva kwedinal, or in the afternoon. Ngokuswa, in the evening. Ngokuswa nje, this evening. So Ngokuswa in the evening, Ngokuswa nje, this evening. Ebusuku, at night. Imini yonke, the whole day. Yonke imisha, every day. Longe ikaisha, all the time. Ngamanye amakaisha, sometimes. So, very useful everyday words, and of course, there are more. And then just a short revision exercise on time. Gubani Ikhaisha, Gubani Ikhaisha, what is the time? Ikhaisha Ngu, 9, the time is 9 o'clock. Ndifuna umsibenzi ungeniswe. I want the assignment to be submitted. Ngomvulo on Monday. Golwe sitatu on on Wednesday. Golwe sitanu on on Friday. Golwe sitatu the third day. Golwe sitanu the fifth day. Gomso tomorrow. Namhlanje today. Izolo yesterday. Kusasa in the morning. Yonge imisha every day. Emva kwemini in the afternoon. Ngoku now. Uyanini eklasini. When are you going to class? The little word nini asks the question when. Ngo ten at ten. 
Good, that concludes this lesson then. Engosi kakulu.